We asked you to join us in creating content and your response has been overwhelming. Thank you. We now work one-on-one -on -one with our followers from around the world. I'm Clinton Lubber. Welcome to my classroom. Hello DFOG, welcome to classroom. Today we are looking at the work of Mark Livney. I chose to look at Mark because I think this is something that can help a lot of photographers out there. The great and wonderful David Bailey commented in an interview that he feels really lucky if he gets one good shot a year to add to his work. Now I thought I was hard on myself one shot a year. That's being really incredibly objective and very hard on yourself, probably too hard on yourself, but I'm not going to argue with David Bailey. So being objective about your work is having the ability to see your work through an outsider's eyes, through your client's eyes, and to not get too close to your work. Now, that happens especially in film. It's hard lessons that you learn in film is that you become so familiar with the project that you become desensitized to it. So I thought today would be a good exercise in taking Mark's work. And Mark, you work at an ad agency. You should know better. Taking Mark's work and just refinishing it. I don't want to criticize his work because I see some really good potential there, but you're not seeing the true end result. So I don't know whether you desensitize to your work, that you stare at it too long. I don't know if you don't have that experience to be able to have a look at your work and objectively criticize your work, or not necessarily criticize, but finish the, the work. That's all I want to do here. This is a very short classroom. So here it is, Mark. This is your version of your three prints. And this is my version of your three prints. It's all exactly the same work. It's just an objective perspective. So in the first print, I think what guides me over here is the beautiful graphic nature of this image. You've got these strong, bold, vertical lines all over the place. and when I see something like that, it just screams black and white to reinforce the stark graphic patterning in the image. On the second one, I really don't like what's happening to her head being tucked in behind her shoulder. I think the image should be reposed, but what happens is after the fact, you can't go and retake the picture again. So how do you refinish the image? You turn it into a fashion image. And I think that just by adding your name and removing the part of the image that, that doesn't sit well with me, I think you've, you've got a strong statement here in this shot. The last image, I just kind of feel that your post, whether this is straight off of camera or whether you, you worked on it, I don't know, you didn't mention that, but the mood in the image, it's this far off destination that allows you to breathe. So I think your processing needs to breathe with the mood of the space. That's why in my version of the image, all of the tones are lifted, lighter, more subtle. They're just taken a few steps higher to match better with the location. I think the only way to get yourself into this zone, into this really objective zone is knowing genre, knowing story, knowing where your image is, is being placed and, and who your clients are that you're talking to. And unfortunately, there are no quick fixes. These are things that, that you do learn with time, but all I can say is pay more attention to recognizing where the true potential lies in your images. Because I don't want to criticize posing and, and, and lighting and things like that. I think, I think you, you're doing that well. Recognizing the story in the final product. 
little bit more experience on that end. And the bottom line of it all is defog as photographers. When you start recognizing that, you're going to sell yourself better, you're gonna make your clients happier, and you're gonna have a much more productive photographic career. Until next time, Defog, please remember, stay safe, subscribe, and we'll see you in a few days.